Afghan military medical students are learning the first steps to saving their fellow troops during a week-long training called Operation Medical Course. Because uh, Afghanistan uh, is faced war now, we are not a uh, peaceful time. And uh, that's not just for uh, war problems, even for the civilian and the, for the accidents and for traumas, that's very good to, to learn how to evacuate the people and how to station them uh, in good position and how to uh, help them for uh, the uh, critical care. We are faced with a lot of trauma and in, our, in our army, so because of that, we want to at least two times a year to, uh, to put this kind of symposium for our students and they have to f uh, familiar with the, uh, with the uh, management of the critical patients. So it's very, very helpful and very useful for, for all of us. Although these Afghan students receive seven years of medical schooling, hands-on training like this is something relatively new. Coalition forces worked with Afghan physicians to create something every student whether military or civilian, could benefit from. I think this was just an overall wonderful experience from the um, coalition side, and what it, what it tells us is that uh, the Afghans will be able to sustain this course, and I think even improve on this course, and I think it, will, it is clearly their course at this point, um, and it's very exciting to see that. Because uh, we knew that Afghanistan needs for doctors. We knew in these days our patient all goes to foreign countries in order to treat themselves. Uh, in this place, uh, this is our job, to be a good doctor, a doctor that have a knowledge of today, in order to serve for our people, for our nation. And it is uh, my job. I have to do better for uh, my people. Seventy-five students graduated from this last course, but the goal is to open up combat medical training to all medical students to better prepare them for anything that could happen outside of hospital walls. Army Sergeant Danielle Washington, Kabul, Afghanistan.